All right, welcome to another edition of JTJU, where we all try to be just a little better at the game of Clash of Clans. I got another attack review screencast for you. This time, we're taking a look at a new variant of a Town Hall 10 attack applied to Town Hall 9, and that would be the BDFT. We're going to skinny it up and use some hogs on the backside to allow a Town Hall 9 to slap into a Town Hall 10 and get some two stars for the team. But before we take a look at how that actually goes down, let's give out two high fives. One to our backup band, Fallout Boy, with my songs, Know What You Did in the Dark, and our classer from JTJ Agony, who actually pointed this attack out. So, high five, high five. Let's get to the attack. All right, so here's the base at Agony. When JTJ2 threw down against the Town Hall 10, you can see it's an entry level. It's got eye towers that are level one. The expos are kind of weak, mid-level town hall nine actually. And same story with the uh, whiz towers. They're kind of uh, max level town hall eight, so entry level town hall nine whiz towers. So it's a weaker base, but you'll see that Agony actually rolls his base pretty solidly. So I believe that even with a stronger entry level town hall ten, one that's more max town hall nine going into town hall ten, you'll still be able to pull what you see here off without much sweat. Um, one thing you want to be looking for though is the eye towers are on multi. Notice that and they're also clustered close together. So if you can pad in your BDFT skinny group, the four golems, such that they're both at the same time in this range of both eye towers, saturating them, or well, at least 80% saturation, uh, you're going to have a lot of success with this. So that's what we want to be looking for. We're going to give them a green. All right, next question is the attack line, and with the skinny BDFT, it's kind of the same issue you see with KHC2 Ho or KHC2 Try. You want to get your Golem Force onto the Queen, number one, and you want to get him also, new point, into between the two eye towers, similar to what we got called Gut Shot on the 105 Dragoon at Tunnel 8. We want to settle in those four Golems right between the two eye towers so that they saturate 8% of the five threads that those guys can spit out. So when your hogs run by, they don't get burned up too bad. And he achieved both coming in from 12, so we'll give him a green. So once we got the attack line defined, we got decided are we going to draw out the clan castle or kill it in the walls? And in this case, he's going to go with killing in the walls, you can tell, because the golems are down. The only time we probably would pull lightning is you feel like you can get it, the clan castle triggered and killed with less than 20 slots of your army lost, I would say, around there. So we'll give him a green on this, but be careful. I say that because... With BDFT style attacks, you got a lot of slots tied up in meat shield and not a lot of offensive firepower to deal with CC troops. So it's going to be a nail biter either way you do it. Next point is the golem whiz cuts. You want to drop the golem so they post up on defensive buildings that are about 8 to 10 tiles off of the attack point you want to go for. It looks pretty good here. He's going to attack. His attack line's 12. So you can see he's dropping around 1130 and 1230-ish. And it's about 8 or 10 tiles over. And the reason why he says so that your goblins will detect the hole and come back to the hole once you blow it. And you'll see here that they do that. Green. Okay, now we're in the drive step. So we're going to drop our king and queen after we blow the hole with two wall breakers. Bang! The golems sense the hole and pull back in just like we thought they would. Beautiful! And also notice they pull, then separate. So the best place to blow the hole is where non-defense building is so that they spread away. This reduces the risk of... Uh, AOE, splash damage hitting the golems and taking out wall breakers that then follow through your last two. So I'm going to give him a green on that. Alright, the next step is the hog deployment. And in that case, we're waiting for the skinny BDFT and the KHC backers to get into the mid and do two things. One, take out the CC troops if they haven't done it already. So in this case, Agony will be dropping lightning. Nicely done, waiting for them to get into a, a clumped area. And then he drops them because at the same time the eye towers fired up. So notice you want the hogs to be coming in as the eye towers are saturated fully in this case because the king is there as well as the four golems. So not one eye tower thread of fire lit up a hog. Green. And the last point is the heal placements. You want to use those as usual. Cast forward. Beautifully done. On AoE defense risk areas. Which could be the wizard towers which is what he's hitting here. Giant bomb placements, you know the deal. Standard hogging stuff. So green here as well. So let's just speed it up now because Agony has achieved his goal of two stars on Town Hall 10 as a Town Hall 9, which is awesome. And you can see he gets 99%. Just wow. Anyway, 
you can see why we felt that this attack is something to keep in mind. We're going to put it on our one tree as a definite use if the multis are there for an entry level Town Hall 10. But let me know if it doesn't work out for you, if it is, whatever. Give a post out on the forums or on YouTube or give me a high five, whatever you want to do. Otherwise, good luck in your clan wars, and we'll talk to you soon. Don't touch that, Larry. Touch it, Larry. You know you want to. Larry, don't touch Larry, that. Larry, do it. Do it, Larry. Larry! Yes! And so Larry joined the ranks of JTJU, and his life was never the same. What'd I just say, Larry? Good job, Larry.